New at 11, a man is dead after a crash at Iroquois Park. LMPD says just after 7 this evening, officers responded to a crash between a car and a motorcycle at the intersection of Rundell Road and Melody Lane. Police say the motorcyclist was pinned underneath the car. He was rushed to University Hospital where he died. At this time, no one has been charged. Police are investigating after a teenager was shot and killed overnight in the Jacobs neighborhood. It happened just before 1 Thursday morning on West Wheatmore Drive near Watterson Lane Park. Officers say an 18-year-old was shot and died at the hospital. Neighbors say they're fed up with the violence. I wish it would stop, uh, but the reality of it is it's probably not, unfortunately, and I don't know if there's anything anybody can do other than pray um, that things will get better and change. No arrests. If anyone has information, call the anonymous tip line 574-LMPD. A lawyer for one of the men charged in connection to the death of Crystal Rogers says his client should be a free man. Steve Lawson is charged with complicity to commit murder and tampering with evidence in the Bardstown woman's death. Both sides agree that he was offered immunity when he first spoke to investigators, but the prosecutor said today that immunity was conditional on Lawson telling the whole truth, which he says didn't happen. Lawson's attorney said that his client did tell the truth and upheld his end of the bargain. Because none of it was put to writing, and nobody put their signature on it in writing. It was all governed by the Commonwealth. It was all led by the Commonwealth. It was all promoted by the Commonwealth. They had complete control over what that agreement was. The judge says that he'll make a ruling in the coming days. If the charges are not dropped, Lawson will return to court next month with the two others charged. Two more arrests have been made amid the search for a missing eight-month-old girl in western Kentucky. Seven people are now in custody in connection to the search for Maya Tucker. Her parents were arrested over the weekend with another man. The girl's grandmother and grandfather were also arrested. And yesterday, state police arrested Maya's other grandparents. According to police, Maya's three brothers and sisters were living with them. The kids were removed by the Cabinet of Community-Based Services. Multiple searches have not turned up any evidence of the little girl. A church in Jeffersonville is asking for help after it's been continuously hit by vandals and thieves. The Messiah Temple Church has been in the same location off 14th Street for 12 years. In that time, the church has had six air conditioning units stolen, multiple instances of trespassing and vandalism. The most recent instance was yesterday when someone threw a rock through the church's window. My father started the church. And his, um, his uh, main goal was, out, uh, was uh, love. I want to show love. If you know anything about the vandalism or the break-ins, you're asked to call Jeffersonville Police. Flashing lights led the way as a fallen Zonton firefighter was laid to rest today. Sergeant John Vickers died from cancer last week. It's considered a line of duty death because of the higher risk of cancer for firefighters. We were there as the procession made its way to the Oklahoma Christian Church for Sergeant Vickers' funeral. John fought a hell of a fight and managed to win twice. With John's passing, our hearts are broken, but our spirits are strong. The procession paused at the Oklahoma Fire District on Preston Highway as Sergeant Vickers made his final stop at the fire station. The tourism sector in Louisville is booming with a staggering $4.1 billion in travel and tourism revenue flowing into the metro area last year. In a strategic move to continue this upward trend, the hotel tax was slightly increased, funneling additional funds into sales efforts, hoping to attract more meetings, conventions and events to the city. Randall Cam has the story. It's a terrible name, and you're changing that? Is it that right? is. So we are, we are now using the working name of Louisville Hotel Partnership. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about what the hotel partnership actually does. It's part of Metro government and funded by a 1.5% increase in the hotel tax. Funds are used to market Louisville as a place for big events. We helped get Gazebo Fest launched, so we were pretty excited about that and hoping that you know next year's weather is better and that they'll, they'll try it again. As part of their effort to fill hotel rooms in the city, the LHP is working with Muhammad Ali Louisville International Airport in an effort to keep the tourists coming. Direct flights into Louisville have been improving over the last few years, but we'd love to see more. So we started conversations with the airport about whether we can be helpful in, in that arena. And with more visitors coming to Louisville, more jobs are created. However, filling those positions isn't always easy. Gratz says in the hospitality industry, workforce is a huge challenge. 
talking with U of L about the potential for a minor in hospitality management, which would help kind of drive that um, workforce to a different level. Randall Cam, WLKY News.